Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, back for some more Super Mario Odyssey while permanently crouching. Here we are in Steam Gardens, we have to get 16 moons here, and we'll see how we go. Uh, that rabbit has one, so let's see if we can do that. Uh, I'm having some trouble. Because <laughs> the rabbit is much faster at moving around and turning than we are. So, I may have some trouble <laughs> doing this. Uh, we could cheat a little bit by grabbing that rock over there, if we can grab it. I think we'll be able to grab it. Maybe. No, no, we broke it. I don't know if the rolling rock that doesn't break is here yet. Okay, we hit it. We hit it a bit. Curses. <laughs> Maybe we won't do the rabbit. We'll come back and see if we can do that later. Uh, that one's got no, just a regular one. Okay, there's a couple of ways you can approach this. You're supposed to go that way, through the where the Sphinx is, in order to continue with most of the level. However, you can also climb up here with a well-placed jump. Like that. Which gives you an alternate way to enter the main area of the game guard. And there's a couple of moons just here which you as well. It's also a fire bro, so you know, watch out for the fire. Don't get burned or anything. Uh, you can capture them. Line it up properly. There we go. It's kind of cute because they wear the hat sideways. See? But Cappy's chilling there. If I stay still for a little while, she should show back up. Pretty adorable. No, maybe not. Oh, you can light that fire if you want, it doesn't do anything. Uh, actually, I don't know what you can do with this fire, bro. I'm not sure why this works here. Anyway, if we can hit that switch, that would be great. Um, there we go. <laughs> and that gives you access to the main area of Game Gardens, which is over here. And the music will start. That this area has. This is an upward. You may have seen them before. The melons. <laughs> we head down near those piranha plants. Now, piranha plants usually aren't too much of a threat because the poison can be cleaned up by throwing Cappy at it, but we may have trouble. We can't really do that. Uh, so we'll see how we go. Uh, also, let's get stuck down here in this little river. Completely harmless, so it's a big deal. Um, there's some more upwards over here. We will capture one of these up. Get us first. Oh, we might just fall here. One of them. There we go. Okay, so yeah, as an upward, the fact that we're holding the crowd has no effect on the Play the game. Up, up, up. And that's one move for Steam Gardens. That's what this level's called. Steam Gardens. <laughs> okay, yeah, there we go. That's how it does. Uh, there's a panicking robot over here. Hello, panicking robot. Oh, uh, the robot's telling me about the story mission, which I may or may not want to actually do. See. Uh, there's a sub area here in the water we can do. Uh, so we'll have a look at that. I forget what it's about. It might be water based. Yeah, it is. Water -based. So this one might be easier than it otherwise would be. However, if we get hit by fuzzy, it'll still be difficult. So, let's see how we go. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm gonna set this up very badly. Yeah, there's a million of them. It's not too hard to spot, so the little gap in the ceiling is pretty obvious. Anyway, that heals us up to full, like any movie does, which is handy. Oh, oh my god. Hop. You got the six. We don't have a lot of hard. It's not too hard. It's the same as the normal ice. It's the same as the game, so. 
guy. Da -da -da. Yeah! So that's 3 out of 16. So those moons were not affected very much by the fact that we're holding crowd, since most of that area was under water. Uh, look around and see if we can do something a little less trivialized. Uh, such as accidentally capturing these binoculars. <laughs> okay, so... These front ones here, they're pretty close to the place. They're... Oh, oh. You have to watch out because Kathy can be eaten by them. And you don't want that, because Kathy is beautiful and lovely. Also, we need to have a bit of a So yeah, this poison is a bit of a significant threat. Uh, well, basically got past you already, so we don't trouble. Uh, you're supposed to get numbers and go into that passage there. You can't do it without numbers, but you don't actually need to go in there. Because you can just lock down the key. Bit of a handy skip. Uh, that skip is much harder in some other challenges. In this one, it's pretty easy. <laughs> Uh, this is one of the story things here. You have to defeat the big runner plant and get the moon. Uh, so maybe we'll do that. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, I forget if the big runner plant... Oh, hang on. There's a fan here. That's a nice. I think it's the up thing. Yes. Yes. So, this is trivialized again because when you capture the up room, you don't crap anymore. Just playing normal. Um, but we can get another moon over here, so let's do that. Actually, I'm gonna go, with, go to the, do the story this time. Just... just to see the story. So that means coming back to the story moon, back here. Oh, you can't get up there, but I think you need to. So this guy is reasonably easy to beat, normally uh, but it's a little tricky way we were playing because we couldn't use a cappy bounce or anything. We didn't have cappy because what well, you stun him is by throwing cappy. Pretty gross. <laughs> anyway, story moon. That's the second story moon in this run, so we haven't seen that cutscene in a while. <laughs> Uh, I believe this will not be too much of a challenge to get up. Uh, these flower pods can be quite a hassle in certain runs. I believe they will not impact us tonight. You know, crutch and run. Since although we are often waddling... Whoa! Oh, okay, maybe it will be a bit tricky. We can just roll that way up the top like this. There we go. Uh, I'm not sure if we've got enough control to get over there. Let's find out. Oh. Unless you're bombed, in which case you're going to fall with some problem. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, we might avoid that. Now let's get another shot. It's gotta be better at the game. See, he's a piece of Okay, uh, there will be another moon over there later on, but it's not there yet. Well, the one inside this nut is still there, so we can get that. Like that. Yeah! Okay, that's six moons out of sixteen. Making good progress. Uh, this is another one of flower pods. A little more tight than the previous one. There we go. Very good. Uh, you can take a shortcut here by jumping up into the rafters of the sky tower, but there's some pretty easy moons inside it, so we're gonna do that. We are, however, gonna fall by you. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
yeah, the Wooded, Wooded Kingdom has a lot of places where you can roll like that, so that might be a bit of a threat for our run. We'll see how we go. Uh, we don't need to take the side path because we already got that, so... Okay, we take this reasonably slow even if it's great. By throwing it at me, it should be okay. Can't take it too slowly because the path disappears after a little while, but there we go. We can make it. Okay, so you're mostly supposed to use upwards to get through here. We're probably not going to do that. Using Captain's trivial as a challenge, so let's not. <laughs> There's an upward, I think it's that. I believe this is doable without using an upward at all. Let's see if you're able to use an upward at all while crouching. Okay, I just bounced up an upward's head. I don't know if that counts as using it. <laughs> uh, it's also a pretty easy life up heart just there. Let's get that. Although we did. And just bonk again against that one. This is the bonk thing. Challenge. There we go. Okay, so yeah, you take this little leafy glitch here. Well, you should try to. Oh my goodness, I'm having a bit of trouble here. Uh. Trouble is the bridge curve. When you roll, you always roll in a straight line. Um, I don't think I actually needed to get up from there, though. Yeah, that's what I thought. Cap down. Oh, yes, it's the same way to go there, but we can just get up there that way. Okay, so here... I'm sure you didn't hit the other one. Um, can just switch. Okay, there's another move here we're getting. <laughs> you just back up your body up there. <laughs> there we go. Yeah! Uh, a couple of visible points here. Oh, this is a lot of visible points. It's a lot, a lot like the 3D world, 3D life game. Mario 3D games. There's a really good name for that point 3D. Makes sense. Um, it's similar to those games, but I think it's better here because of the way it works. It's so focused on exploration compared to those kind of. Oh, I haven't actually played it. I need to. I need to put it in the for that. <laughs> oh god. Okay, we have a castle for this here sky up tower. Um, we might actually need to go outside in that way. I think that might be easy. We never tried to do that with Kim but we try. Um, anyway, here we go rolling around in the speed of sound. Got places to go, got a fallen flower path. Okay, yeah, I need to actually wait for the flower path. Keep rolling. <laughs> There we go. Okay, there we go. Easy. Easy. Bit. Okay, I'm not quite sure if we can reach the moon up there without it. Maybe we can. We'll have a moon. Uh, there's a moon directly above this spot. So, I'm not going to gain enough height to actually get up there. Hmm. Might be a way I'm not seeing to gain a height. Like a triple jump maybe, but triple jumps are tricky. It's not space to do that one in our current state. Anyway, we are going to do this boss battle, which I believe is Buit. Oh no. Yeah, alright. Yeah, it's Spewit. Okay, this guy is normally pretty easy. 
Uh, he might be a bit harder than Okay. But he probably won't be, given what he's had. <laughs> uh, then he's got this bit, so I'm gonna just, you know, don't go right to the point, which will be fine. There we go. So yeah, Skewit is very, very easy. Even, even with these crouching restrictions, very trivial indeed. So there we go. And that gives us a multi moon, which is the second multi moon in our run. There it is. Beautiful. <laughs> Whoosh. So that's another three moons to our tally, which brings us up to what is it? Yeah! Ten, I think. Ten, yeah, we need six. Okay, so once we've done that first story, it's going to change the layout of the first story of the area. Huh, oddly enough, this thing's left without talking to it, so that part doesn't matter, apparently. This area is now full of tanks instead of running. As usual, capturing something to realize it's a challenge, so. Plus, that way you can So, what we're supposed to do is get a seed from this plant over there. Plant this robot. <laughs> um, as we've seen earlier, to get a seed picked up, you have to bounce on it and do that. There we go. Make it with the seed this time. Because the fairy tale. <laughs> Yes. Classic. Uh, so we're gonna hear what you get. It's pretty easy. So wow. There we go. Yeah. I don't know why Mario is in charge of what the his robot. He's not a robot, as far as I'm aware. I think he's a robot. Uh, then there's some goombas here. We're not gonna bother to catch them. Crowd. There is a movie to get by doing that, but we aren't going to do it. Uh, there's my tank over here. It is possible to get up there without using the tank. But I don't know if it's possible to get up there without using the tank. So let's take Basically what you have to do is do a lot from... I think it's this third one? Bouncing around. Yeah, I think it's this third one. I'm pretty sure that's right. It's kind of hard to angle yourself. Yeah, I think I can do that with practice. Also, might not be a long jump, but I'm not too so sure. But I think the long jump is right. He's not really certain. Oops. Well, we're down here now. Uh, you might recognize this place from earlier. <laughs> yeah, this is the area we used to skip the sink earlier, which we didn't need to do because we just talked to him. Well, crash, he doesn't stop to talk to him. So, it wasn't really a necessary skip, but we did it anyway. Now, you can jump up back up there, so I'm going to do that shortly. But I'm going to mess it up. Now we're right at the beginning again. 
Thankfully, we can do a couple of things. Climb up these walls and then we need to regain our position. There we go. Uh, there is a move over here we can try to get. We're supposed to use the uproot, but we can also not use the uproots, and that might be more fun. So let's give that a shot, see how we go. Oops. See, there's a little ledge there, we have to get on top of that. So, I think we need a bit of distance. Like maybe over here. There we go. Uh, the next ledge is up there. Oops. <laughs> okay, that's proving tricky, but I think we can do it. I'm pretty sure we can do it. We seem to not bonk so much. Okay. Yeah, that's totally doable. If we get a good cappy bounce, we should be fine. Um, okay, let me directly behind it, like below it. This isn't quite But you get the idea of what I'm trying to do. So... It's sad that there's no music over here. Okay, maybe it's... I'm pretty sure. Like, I know it can be done without crouching. I'm just not sure if it can be done with crouching. Uh, but it looks doable. I'm having a bit of trouble controlling myself properly here. There we go, bounce, and dive, and that. Don't ground pound. Get that bounce. Okay, there we go. That is flip. Okay, yeah, you definitely need another cappy bounce there. So, let's see. If we backflip this way. That doesn't quite work. Okay, that doesn't work either. Hmm. Maybe if I use like a ground pound jump. Yeah, you're obviously supposed to use an upward pound. Name of self-imposed challenge. Yeah, I've tried it. I'm just doing something else. I think we need a triple jump to get up there. And triple jump is uh, something we need to have trouble accessing. We can access it. Uh, huh, I'm not going to get those flowers for crap. I haven't tried that yet. Uh, rocket flowers make Mario like run for real fast. Might be good to have. Okay, so that completely cancels out the fact that the crowd. Interesting. Might be in. Huh, that's interesting. Actually, I have to hold up to climb things, whereas with holes and stuff, you just have to shake and that's all work. Anyway. Yeah, let's, let's just use the thing to Ow. So yeah, we're supposed to do this. Oh, there's a train upstairs. Also, don't get shot by this. Okay, there we go. Easy. Yeah, I don't 
Okay, so yeah, we're hiding behind this part of the world. You want to break that or anything? You can do that without a tank, but you have to like flip out of bounds, which is super ridiculous. Uh, climbing up here though. Is really fun. Yeah, I were somewhat better at the game. <laughs> okay, so here's one of these black ones. What we're gonna do is just jump up and just gonna catch it. Turn ourselves down to here. Just ground down to the lap. There we go. I want to see the 2D area, the 2D section is doable. Um, it's very close to where we are right now, so... Go. Find next one. Okay, nope, this one's also undoable. Some of them are doable, but this one is not. Head up here. You actually have to get that this part. I believe it's not going to be out. You gotta just basically whack these guys up there. And yeah, you would need to get three things here. Ow. Okay. That's my problem because you're here then. So there's one, there's one you can get for just blasting all these. It's not that hard. Making it harder than that. And there's another one you can get. Oh wait, the boss surprise you play is not good actually. Maybe I won't do the boss. Forgot about that. I believe he's getting a lot of other stuff though, so I might just get it. So yeah, the boss is down there. You have to capture an upper route to fight it. I don't think there's any other way to damage it. So I'm kind of tempted not to do that, just because it's going to be the same as normal, because uproots are a capture, and when you're going to capture, crouching doesn't do anything, so... Let's see what else we can do right here. Uh, I don't know if we can make our way up. That's the 2D area I was talking about. You can see the side of it there. Um, it lets you get up to the top there. But I don't think we can get up to the top, so... I think we can, however, go down here to this room. So let's do that. Oh wow, this one's actually quite hard. Like, even not crouching, I have trouble with this one. As you can see, it's quite tricky. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, I still need three more moves. Let's see, let's see. I'm gonna try to do that one again. I think I can probably do it. I just need to interrupt my roll part way through. You have quite a lot of air control in this game, so you can land down here without too much trouble. Okay, so, yeah, I need to roll. Pretty sure I need to roll to do this. Uh, well. Okay, so now that I've... Oh my god, this is not quite... Oh no! Okay, so I need to do something a little more precise than that. Maybe with some backflips instead of instead of rolling and long jumping. I'm sure it's doable. It's just tricky.
from down here. That's easy to know. Okay, yeah, it's actually quite easy. To do this oh, almost. I just needed to do that a little bit better, and then that'll work. Hecky wecky. But yeah, doing it with backflips instead of rolling is absolutely the right way to do it. Just gotta get it a little bit better. Drop. Okay, Using its throw to cancel drops is so great. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, it's got a flip to the right hand. Cap bounce, easy piece. And the moon is just with the spike. Oh wait, no it isn't. Yes it is. Okay. So yeah, this is like a treasure, I guess. Spinning platforms treasure. It is a treasure. It's also some coins here. Some coins. You can have coins. Which is probably good because we might need to buy a room later. We might not though. I think we'll probably be okay. This is still the first half of the game, so it'll get harder. Uh, we'll see how we go. Wow, this is kind of a long video. It's only two more. Minutes. Uh, the area is a here, I think. Yeah. On the opposite side of that wall, so let's flip ourselves over that way. Right. Yeah. Okay, so we now have 15 out of 16 moons. Um, there's a painting over there, we can't get a moon out of it, so that it can really help us. Uh, I don't think we got that nut yet. That's a nut in it. So we'll do that. And then I'll get to 16. Yeah! Um, now, let's head back to the Odyssey, but not catch me just yet, because I think that'll lead to a cutscene. And I don't want to make this video any longer than that. <laughs> Steam Gardens for now, and that's us playing Odyssey without uncrouching. Thanks for watching.